Hi guys. Well, I'm actually going to show you guys, which I have been during class, but I'm going, I've made this video to basically remind you guys how to do some of the problems that we have been doing in class. In case you don't remember, I taught you that the very first number in front of a formula is called the coefficient when you're dealing with, com with compounds. The number that is hanging besides the element is called the subscript. It's basically the number that goes right below the actual element. So this element right here is Br, which is bromine, and it has a number 2 right underneath it. So that is called the subscript. Oxygen, on the other hand, does not have a subscript. So this is how you are supposed to basically solve for these kinds of problems. When you have Br, or bromine, you're supposed to basically identify how many, um, how many bromines there are in this formula. The way that you do it is you take the coefficient and you multiply it by the subscript. So in this case, it is 4 times 2, which gives me 8. So there are 8 bromines in this compound or formula. Now I'm going to go ahead and put oxygen. How many oxygens are there in this specific compound? So I'm going to go 4 times, oh, there's nothing here. Well, if there's nothing here, that means there's a 1 there. So it's 4 times 1 equals 4. So there are four oxygens in this compound, or compounds, I should say. So this actually tells you how many compounds you're going to be drawing. In this case, there's going to be four. This formula here tells you how many bromine and how many oxygen are in each compound. So this says there are two bromines for each oxygen. So I'm going to draw two bromines. This is Br, Br. Then I have one oxygen. That means that there are two bromine for each oxygen. This is what your compound should look like. But wait a minute, this tells me I have to draw four compounds, so that means I have one compound here, that means I need to draw three more. So I'm going to draw three more oxygens, one, two, three. For each oxygen, there should be two bromines. So I'm going to go bromine. There's another bromine for this one and another one, so there's two. One, two. One, two. So let me see. I drew all of my oxygens and all of my bromides according to this. So now, and according to the number, one, two, three, four. I'm going to count to see if I actually do have eight bromides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do. So that means that is correct. Now let me see, do I have four oxygens? One, two, three, four. I do. So that means that my answer is correct. I have two bromines, two bromines for each oxygen. One oxygen, one oxygen. So that means that I did my actual answer correctly. So now I'm going to do another, another problem so that you guys get practice. So number two. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to actually put coefficient in red. So it's going to be, I'm going to put a number six for the coefficient. And I'm going to see if I can get different colors so that you guys don't get confused. I'm going to get blue. And I'm going to do purple for this one. 
and I'm going to keep my coefficient and my subscript the same color. Okay, so I'm going to do n. H three and my subscript is going to be peak NH three. We have been learning in class that NH three is ammonia. You guys don't remember. So that means I have six compounds of ammonia. So remember, I need to separate my end to find out how many nitrogens am I going to need to have in my drawing. Nitrogen, and then I'm going to draw hydrogen right underneath. Hydrogen. Okay, well according to what I said earlier, I'm supposed to actually multiply the 6 times whatever the subscript is. Do I have a subscript here? No, so that means it's going to be 6 times 1. 6 times 1 gives me 6, so I have 6 nitrogens. Now I'm going to do the hydrogen. So let me see, I have a 6 here for the coefficient. Do I have a subscript? Yes, I do. So I'm going to put 6 times 3 equals 8 so my answer is there are 18 hydrogens that I need to make sure that I draw. So this is the way I do it now. I'm going to look at my formula. Have six. Do I really need to pay attention to the number of coefficients? Not right now. All I really need to focus on is NH3 because NH3 is telling me how many nitrogens and how many hydrogens do I have for each compound. So this is telling me I have one nitrogen, one nitrogen, so I'm going to draw one nitrogen, and for each hydrogen, I have three. I mean, for each nitrogen, I have three hydrogens. So I'm going to draw three hydrogens. So for each nitrogen, I have three hydrogens. So I'm going to have one, two, and three. So this is H, this is H, this is H. So there is my compound. But wait a minute, am I done? No, I have to draw six of these. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go, there's one, this is two. And I'm going to make sure that I draw three hydrogens for my nitrogen. This is one, two, three. Okay, how many do I have? One, two, ah, not six yet. I have to get to six. So here's my third one, one nitrogen, and then it says three hydrogens. So I'm going to do one, two, three. One H, two H's, three H's. Now I'm going to go and see. How many do I have? One, two, three. Not yet. I haven't gotten to six yet. Go back. Another nitrogen. Then I'm going to add three hydrogens. One, two, three. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Again, so I have one, two, three, four, and I need six. Four. Then I'm going to put, again, three hydrogens. One, two, three. So this is one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. Yeah, one more. So I'm going to draw. Whoops, I forgot to put the N inside. So here's another one. N. And then I'm going to draw three hydrogens. One two, three. I'm going to go back and count to make sure that I have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I have six. Now I want to make sure that I have six nitrogens. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so that one's right. So let me see, hydrogens, I'm supposed to have 18. It's a lot. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18. So I did it right. Okay, I showed you how to do the more difficult ones first. Now we're going to go over the easy ones. With the easy ones, remember, I'm going to do NACL. You guys have been learning this for a while. If you guys recall, NACL is table salt. So I'm going to do blue and red for NACL. So this is number three. Here is NA. I'm going to do NA in red. And I'm going to do CL in blue. This is telling me, if I look at it, I'm going to put NA. This is telling me that I only have how many NAs? Well, if you actually look at it, it's telling you that there is only one NA, one sodium. So I have one sodium. Now I'm going to look at the CL, chlorine. There is only one chlorine. So I'm going to put one. That's the easy ones. These are the really easy ones. So if you don't have any coefficients or any subscript, you just say, okay, I have one Na or one sodium and one Cl, one chlorine. So now to draw it, it's really super easy. What you have to do is just draw one. So this is N, A, and this is C, L. There you go. Let me see, am I right? One, 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 one. I am right. That's all you have to do in order to solve the, solve the formulas and actually draw them.